Hello everyone, Abdul Muqsid here with another tutorial on CrocoBlock Chart Engine. Today we're going to discuss Chart Builder, how you can use Chart Builder to display your data. So let's start. As you know, we are building complex and advanced website with CrocoBlock and specifically with Jet Engine. There are chances that you have huge databases or table. You want to display them as a table or you want to get some summarized information in the form of charts. So for this purpose, we use Chart Builder. In our previous tutorial, we already discussed the tables, how you can build the tables. If you don't know, you can go to the channel videos and check over there. Today, we will discuss the charts. Let's go to our Jet Engine dashboard. There are chances that you will not see chart here. So go to the external modules and click on dynamic chart builder. It will enable the chart section. Go to chart builder. It's empty. There is no chart. Now remember whenever you are creating a chart before chart, you have to build a query. Okay, based on query, the chart will work. If you're following me on this channel, you might know about this website. It's an event portal, which has attendees as a CCC, CCT. What we will do now, we will display attendees per session or per event as a chart. So let's go and create our new query. Attendees per session or per event. Okay. Now in query type, you have various option, but specifically for chart, you have to rely on SQL query. Why? Because if we go for custom content type, for example, it will give us the option which can be used for listing grid, not for chart. Here we don't have the option for count. We don't have option for ascending or descending or limit or this kind of stuff. Okay. So, if you cannot find the relevant information here, go for SQL query for the chart. Now in SQL query, we have two options. If you have a little bit in knowledge about SQL query, you know about these function joins, where, group. If you don't know, you can go to W3 schools and you can learn more about SQL or SQLI. This is a database system which we use with PHP so it has some simple command through which you can filter the data okay let's go back so in query builder you have two option for SQL the first one is visual you can add visually where class or group or count or show per page and if you are an advanced user and you cannot find information over here you can simply go to advanced mode it will enable the SQL query option for you. We will use the visual builder from here. Let's choose our table. So the name of the table is, I guess, attendees, CCT attendees. Okay. Now we want to show events and how many attendants registered for that event. So first thing we need to include the column, which column we want to filter. So it's event column. Okay, then we need a calculated function to count the events. Okay, so we will add events and the function should be count. And last thing we need to group the result by event. So we will go to group and event. Let's display our data. So we are fetching two columns first event count. Okay. And the second, the event title. Okay, so for Arabic reading competition, we have one attendees. For career coaching, we have 84, and so on. This is our data. Let's save it. Let's create the chart from Chart Builder. Add new. Let's name it Event attendees for events okay we will choose the query this is our query and let's fetch the data now we have some option on the left side first we have to choose the chart now remember whenever you are fetching data the data the output data should match on any one of these charts okay so right now we have multiple events 
and it has attendees so the best option should be columns okay if you want uh, to use two or three you can use pie chart for that we will discuss pie chart also let's go and create our column so first column remember it is mentioned here that the x-axis or the labels is our first column so first column will be event title let's choose the data source fetch column and its event let's add another column attendees and we'll choose the count okay let's preview the data so we got a nice dynamic chart let's increase the uh, let me discuss all of them one by one so in chart configuration you have to show where you want to see the legend right left or below the chart okay we have advanced option here if you want to change the colors or you want to change the layout you can read the documentation of google charts here and you can implement that we have chart styles in chart style you can control the width and height so let me make it 1400 pixel and preview the data to make it more presentable okay now for this event we have these attendees let's make it 1000 all right i will create a chart I want to display it right now here is a new option in profile builder let's create a template or let's go and add in the same location I think it's user post or edit user I'm not sure okay so we want to display it here let's grab a chart option so we will have dynamic chart here and i will choose attendees for event update and let's refresh our page so i have a dynamic chart here now the width is a bit long let me check if we can adjust it date and let's refresh our page all right perfect so we got a dynamic chart now whenever we have updated information it will be automatically populated here because it is connected directly to our sql database let's create a new one and this time we will use the pie chart so in our events we have two options either you are a student or you are a professional so you can choose from the front-end forms so this data is saved with customer content type let's filter based on that let's create a query add new and attendees by profession we'll choose sql query from table is attendees include column is profession okay calculated column should be profession let's display the result so we got professional all of them let's use the group by profession okay so we have 183 professional and 532 students and 54 they didn't mention their profession at query let's go back to chart builder add new let's 
this time we will choose attendees by profession and let's fetch the data successful and chart let's choose do not or pie chart let's create the column first column is profession and the second column is attendees or users okay let's reload our data so we got a nice pie chart we have 532 or 69 percent students and now if you go to chart configuration here you can play with the legends to the left or below the chart above the chart inside the chart let's use below the chart okay and create our chart uh, let's refresh the page I don't think we need a refresh let's duplicate it I will add a title here attendees by event and profession we'll click here and we'll just change the type i think it is not yet loaded so we'll update and refresh the page all right let's choose attendees by profession and we got our pie chart all right update and refresh okay so we got our dynamic charts here it's in a profile builder by jet engine croco block now last thing these are the data which is already safe what if you want some newly imported data from sql table not part of wordpress so let's try it i will open excel i think i have downloaded open data of covid 19 cases per country all right i will filter it by a country or let's get information only for afghanistan from uh, first okay let's delete the data and i will take a for one month okay total cases new cases let's take new cases okay i will copy the data let's change the format or let's keep it uh, i will go to mr data converter to quickly import the data I'll paste here and I need output as a MySQL. Let's copy the data. This is my WordPress database where all my tables are. I want to create a new external table. Let's make it COVID name of the table. And execute. So we got our data. Now there are 30 rows. Uh, mean for 30 days uh, let's go to our query builder and create a new query create new cases okay now here we will choose a SQL query now for some reason I am not sure whether it was already here or not maybe because of jet engine version but here I cannot see the COVID table okay if you want to use the visual editor you cannot see the table maybe there's something wrong in my version but i cannot see what i will do i will use the advanced mode okay so let's try a simple command select static from covid static is used for fetching all the columns let's display the data so i got all the data add query and let's go to chart builder create a new chart okay I will 
sorry i will choose new cases fetch the data chart type let's use line okay column first column should be the date which will be display on x-axis we'll choose the fetch column date and new cases is fetch column new cases okay let's preview the data so we got something like that now you might see five or six day this because of the width let's change it to 1500 and we got more data but even now it is not completed let's try something like column all right so we have zero 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 cases new cases on 7th march and then we have all high on 25th march 32 cases let's check whether the data is accurate uh, how many cases we have 32 or 25 we have 32 on 25 okay the data is accurate so the conclusion is you can use the chart builder to get your data from cct now in this example i didn't use cpt but for sure you can use it uh, you can get from sql table or your comments or user but mostly these three or four types in query builder are used for listing grid the specific sql uh, option is used for chart building uh, further you can change the colors of these uh, i think it's something called colors i'm not sure it will work colors red okay the color is red now so you can explore all these allowed options and you can implement in your table this way you can fetch dynamic data with the help of cct or sql and you can display this data in a form of chart if you have any question please write in the comments thank you so much